July 27th, 2012. I am really, really proud of the progress I have made on this pumpkin patch. Only one row left to go. I forgot to mention last time that the raised beds used to be here, so you can see how they're, they're gone now. And this row isn't done yet, but I'm hoping to, um, if Chris comes home this evening, that he can get these two soil bags out of the way and clear out the last of these weeds and I can finish putting the rest of this tarp all the way to the to the fence there but it's really really come along and I just made these holes today so let's see if we can check out my new updated map I can't see because of the glare, so hopefully this is coming in on well, my bad handwriting too. So pretty cool. Uh, this hole right there is a uh, a mix of gourds. Actually, this is the one uh, I have used all the seeds I ordered, but I wasn't sure what to uh, what to plant, so I decided to mix it up with uh, one seed of each: a uh, African kettle gourd, a cannon, a pointed cannonball gourd and a martin house gourd, because last year I had some martin gourds come out. They were pretty big and pretty nice. Okay, so over here... Whoa, I did not level the soil, so there are holes that I can fall into, which are bad. Polar bear, which is supposed to be a large white pumpkin. Get on this side. This is a wolf pumpkin. Now, the wolf is one I'm worried about. It's 120 days, according to the packet. And, uh, well, that's four months. That would put it in November. I'd love to have some of these for Halloween, if they can even handle the weather. The ones I planted that I got out of the pumpkin last year did terrible. They sprouted, and they didn't even make flowers. They died because of all the diseases. So, I don't know, but I'd love to have one because they have the biggest handles of any pumpkin, and they're really neat. And uh, this first one is uh, Wee Be Little, which are the size of baseballs. I'm not really a fan of uh, Jack Be Littles because they're too flat. But all these have come up. Doing good. These are uh, the Dills Atlantic Giants, but the seeds are, they have really tough seeds. You can see that the seed heads are still on. I tried to take some of them off, but they were stuck really good. And I don't want to mess with them and kill them. And there's this. Oh, and I am considering... So, yeah, I quit... I didn't plant anything here because this was going to be, you know, the sit-down area. And since the little gate is right there, I don't want pumpkins growing. Although they, they will. This will be eventually engulfed. We won't be able to walk in here if it is successful, as I'm hoping it will be. So I'm considering planting another row this way, which means that the next one would go right here in this square. I don't know. Should I? Shouldn't I? I can only hear you guys. Yes, plant more. Make a hole. More pumpkins, the better. <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't even bother asking. <laughs> oh, this seed came up. Good. What is that? One, two, three... Dickinson! I don't know why one of the Dickinsons died. Okay. Still no third plant here. Too bad. Three plants in there. And there always seems to be one hole. This happened last year that just nothing wants to come up. I replanted the seeds in here. And uh, this is later in the day. It's uh, afternoon now. It's really hot and you can see how the whole patch I'm not going to do this much longer. It's really sunny. Well, these are the uh, the oil pumpkin seeds. Uh, Elix, you s mentioned on the message board that they're called uh, khaki or khakis from Johnny Select Seed. That's what these are. I got these directly from my friend and uh, as a Christmas gift last year, directly from Austria. 
and over there they're just called oil pumpkins because they're they're not harvested like they are here for decor decoration or even for eating they just take the seeds and make the seeds into oil this one came up I replanted ah uh, back to here getting a little bit of yellowing on the cotyledons I don't know hopefully that's not anything serious but I, I did spray for uh, funguses and this is the warded Hubbard. It fell over. I don't know why. I think something stepped on it. I may have to replant. That's too bad. And these look like they've been chewed. I think they ate them. And I don't suspect insects. I think because the other day I was out here. I see a shade over there. And uh, one pumpkin is coming up here. Well, that's good. I'll get to that in a little bit. And a quick pulled out shot of everything. Okay, had to get in the shade. So, over in that corner, where the one that's chewed up those, and that, I found some poops that weren't from the chickens. They look like mammal. Don't know what kind of mammals. Chris is hoping they're just armadillos. Armadillos don't eat plants, they're insect eaters. They eat ants. But they do dig. I don't know if they would have dug, dug up the plants. There are a lot of ants that have moved in here. I just hope it's not a raccoon that's coming in here at night because I really worry about that with my chickens. But yeah, I don't need my plants getting munched or stepped on, so uh, it's always something. Every year something new comes up. Well, hopefully it's nothing serious and whatever critter is out here will just leave everything alone and go away somewhere else. It's July 28th, next day since I made that other film update. It's early in the morning. And it's beautiful out here. All my girls are out here with me. And what they like to do is... They like to drink the rainwater that collects in the morning. So they're out here looking for water. And uh, more pumpkins have come up since yesterday, actually. Which I'm really glad about. This hole is the one that I said didn't seem to be doing anything. That little sprout right there, that's one of the... Uh, fragrant melons. I haven't been feeling very well for about a week now. Somehow my hands got hurt. I think I was playing too many video games and was squeezing the controller too hard. I haven't been typing because it hurts to hold the mouse and it hurts to type and it hurts to hold the controller to play games. And uh, it's got, got pretty bad. I think I'm on the mend now but I had to had to get a little thing to wear on my arm and I've been putting uh, creams on it. So I've gotten kind of behind on watching watching videos as well and commenting but I'm trying to catch up. Of course I write about what's going on on my journal, on my live journal. If you guys want to ever take a look at that. So let's see what else has come up. Hi, Raptor. She just ran over here. Come here, chicken. What's the matter, chicken? <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, the, uh, this was the uh, one that I said yesterday wasn't doing so well. It seems to have sprung back to life. I guess all the rains that it got made it better, but it was all flat and I thought it was going to die. This is the, um, the squash. What was it? Uh, Hubbard squash. I love this time of day. It's it's so cool out of here. Everything's dewy and rainy and the shadow of the fence is covering everything. These guys are still not doing well. And, whoops, I always step on that hill. The one too many has a, uh, a new sprout coming up there. 
still no third one, but I'll give it a little bit more time. But not too much because pumpkins, uh, pumpkin seeds come up fast. That's what I love about most cucurbits. They come up within two days, sometimes three. Now this one came up, and the leaves look kind of, I'm not going to touch it, kind of silvery on the cotyledons. The, the leaves look fine, but I don't know if, the, if that's normal for the cotyledons. They look like powdery mildew to me. I need to mix some, uh, some fungicide and spray. I think it's been a week since I sprayed last time. But... So three of these have come up. And there are a lot of ants have moved in. Here's an ant hill. These are red ants, luckily. They don't really bite, but there are fire ants in here too. And that's the uh, Dill's Atlantic Giant. I managed to get the seed off of it today. This one, I'm not, it's still too, too tight. I'm not gonna pull it off. And the third seed hasn't come out. All three came, Okay, see, that's when they rip up the edges of my plastic. Oh, the Rhode Island Reds are boss. They kick around the other hens. So those three came up. And these three came up. They're doing quite well. Oh, and because I've been hurting a lot with my hands, the reason I'm talking softly is I have a sore throat and I might be might be getting a cold I don't know I don't feel very good so I don't know if I'll film the front yard it's too doing and wet and I'm wearing flip-flops but the good news is out front it needs to be weeded a little bit but hey uh, I think I have a watermelon coming in and if I don't show that in this update, I'll show it in the next one. Okay, I don't think I forgot anything this time, so happy Halloween, Garden. Signing off.